good one. That's a nice one. Come on. Probably a two and a half. On the old fluke. He wanted it faster. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I've gotten a lot of requests from people to do a retrieves video on soft jerk baits like this fluke, uh, an absolute fish catching machine. And there's a lot of people though that don't really know all of the different ways you can throw it. A lot of people think there's just a standard retrieve, but I wanna walk you through the three or four different retrieves that I really like for it. It's, uh, it's really a versatile bait. The first one is pretty much, I think how a lot of people like to fish it. It's just a twitch, let it fall back down twitch let it fall back down and you just do that the whole way back to the boat basically that bait is popping up and then you get a slow fall just like a dying bait fish really really good way to fish a fluke but it's not the only way to fish a fluke i will say this type of retrieve this real slow kind of just twitch retrieve is one of my favorite ways to fish it during cold front conditions or really tough fishing uh, you want to get that bait down into the strike zone and you just give it a twitch. But when you twitch it, that bait doesn't really go that far. It just kind of pops up and then falls back in place. So if you've got a cast where you think you've got a strike zone like that lay down tree or maybe this next lay down tree, it's a really good way to keep your bait right in that strike zone. Like I'm just going to let the bait fall. And I can see it for a while and then it disappears. So I'm going to let it fall almost sometimes all the way to the bottom. In this case, I'm only fishing a couple of feet of water and I give it a nice little twitch. Bait pl flutters back up and I'm going to let it fall back down. Really simple, straightforward retrieve. Great way to fish a fluke style bait. Now, that's not the only way. I will say a, a another rendition of that is what a lot of guys do on the blueback herring lakes. They throw it out, but because the blueback herring are always moving, generally speaking, the fish want it moving a little faster, but what they do instead of a twitch is they do a full pull. They let it pull it, let it sink a little bit, pull it, let it sink, and depending how you have your fluke rigged, sometimes you get a lot of motion. Like the way I've got it right now, I'm actually getting a lot of side to side motion. So when you make that more of that sweep style retrieve, like I'm doing, where you, you let it sink and then you give it a good pull. So you're going from basically pointing at the bait to past you. So I'm pulling that bait 10, 12 feet in one cast. And what that does is it really creates that, uh, that appearance where the bait is trying to get away from whatever fish might be there. It's not necessarily the dying bait fish. It's, oh, it's falling down to the bottom and then you're pulling it a good 10, 12 feet away from the fish and that generates a lot of strikes. Um, so that's one way that definitely a lot of, a lot of specific places in the country really like to fish it. They just throw it out in this big sweep. You know, if you watch guys like Anthony Gagliardi fish on a, on a Lake Murray, I mean, it's, you reel it and you pull it straight to the boat. And if you can see it, one thing is when you, when you pull it a big sweep, my baits actually got a very good vibration to it. I can literally feel that bait moving through the strike zone. But the key here is you're not really fishing a specific piece of cover a lot of times, you're just covering a lot of ground. And you can do it in various speeds. You don't have to let it fall all the way down. You can reel it up and just keep that bait moving. And the thing is really, it's that sweep. You're moving that bait a long distance every time you sweep it, and that generates a lot of strikes. Now, another retrieve is one where I like to just keep that bait moving really fast to the point where a lot of times, if you can see it, it'll like bust the surface and skitter on the surface every once in a while. So every 10, 15 feet there, it's actually breaking the surface as if it's a shad that's trying to escape a bass. It's a great way to create that reaction strike. You know, it's almost a surface bait at that point, but it because it's not always on the surface, it's still very much subsurface, but it's a great way to generate strikes. So a lot of times what I'll do, is throw it out there, 
just get it going. And if I get to a piece of cover, I stop it. And usually when you stop it, that's right when the fish bites it, get it going some more. And there you go. I mean, you're just basically burning it back to the boat. Almost, almost like you're working a top water as fast as you can. You're really just trying to keep that bait skittering around the surface, trying to create that reaction strike to get a bass to commit to it because they see it flying over their heads. Uh, a great way to cover water, great way to fish big expansive flats. Uh, if you've got big weed flats, maybe you've got schooling fish, just a super good way to fish it. The last way is going to be kind of more just like walking the dog. If you've got a top water bait that you like to walk back and forth, I'm just going to keep it moving back and forth. Nice steady pace. And all I'm doing is walking the bait. I'm walking the dog under the water. That uh, is a really a killer way to get fish to come up and look at it. Now I will say what I like to do during the middle part of that retrieve is to usually gen you know add just a little stop here and there. I generally don't walk it all the way back to the boat. I like to throw it out and just get it going. Nice steady retrieve because if you work it too fast what's going to happen is it'll come up and skitter like the last retrieve which may be what you want but if you want your bait to be a little bit more subsurface, that's where I'm just gonna give it a nice simple walk the dog, just as straightforward. And I can see my bait right now walking back and forth. It's really almost more of a glide bait type retrieve. And a lot of times uh, when the fishing is slow, a lot of times this will get the fish to come up and at least look at the bait. And when you see the fish, a lot of times you can go back if they don't commit to this, you can go back and catch them say on a wacky rig or something a little bit different but a really good way uh, to get fish to come look at your bait. It's very much just what I would consider a standard glide bait type re retrieve, but it works very, very good anytime you're throwing a soft jerk bait. So if you're talking about rod and reel, now you can work these on a, a lot of different types of uh, rod and reel setups. I prefer a light, medium, heavy. I've got it here on 12 pound fluorocarbon, 100% Berkeley fluorocarbon. And then I've got just a light wire EWG 4 out hook. This is a Zoom Super Fluke. Uh, fits it really well. I generally get better motion out of a 4 out hook, I feel like, and better hookup percentages because this is one of those setups where you do tend to miss a lot of fish. They come up and they swipe at it. Your bait will ball up. And because of that, you tend to miss a lot of fish. So I like to go with a slightly bigger hook in that 4 out versus, say, a 3 out, And that seems to help me with that. Uh, but you can throw this on spinning reel setups as well. I generally refer people or like to uh, recommend people to throw it on a heavier spinning rod, so a medium action or heavier, uh, if you're gonna go with a spinning rod, just cause you wanna be able to drive the hook home as long as you're fishing it uh, Texas style or weedless. If you're fishing with an exposed hook, you can get away with a lot lighter action rod, a, light lighter, a lot lighter line as well. But it's a phenomenal bait. This is one of those baits that you will catch fish everywhere you go, every species, all season long. Uh, generally, just a great tool for catching fish. If I'm in a tournament and I'm looking to try to catch a limit fish, a fluke style bait is gonna be one of the ones that I'm gonna consider putting on, uh, but it just works great. You know, I'm fishing a river right now. I've got a little bit of current going down, so the, the bait is kind of darting back and forth, but the current is just gonna pull it right into the cover, which is what you want because that's where those fish are going to be uh, but it's a really good bait so if you do not use a fluke if it's not part of your arsenal i really recommend that you do it uh, and again mix up your retrieves now generally when i hit the water with a fluke i'm not just getting going out going okay today i'm gonna do a nice glide bait walk the dog retrieve i pretty much mix it up uh, almost every cast, unless there's a specific target that I'm fishing. If there's a target that I'm fishing, a lot of times I'll just let the bait sit there. But I'm trying to determine what the fish want that day. If they want it fast, where the bait starts breaking the surface, almost like a top water, sometimes that's the best retrieve. Sometimes they want it almost to the point where it's dead stick. Let it go to the bottom, twitch it once in a while, and that's how they want it. Other times they want it faster, so you definitely want to play around with your retrieves of soft jerk baits because it truly is not just a one trick pony. Uh, these baits, the better you get at learning out the different retrieves and what's generating the strikes, 
is going to lead to a lot more fish catches for you because if you're sticking with one standard retrieve, I'm telling you, you're missing fish. So hopefully guys, you found this helpful. I'm gonna fish a little bit more. We got a pretty nasty front coming, I guess, with a bunch of big hail and stuff. Should be here, they're saying, in about a half hour. I'm hoping the fish are gonna turn on. We'll see, maybe I'll catch one or two for you and just show you the different retrieves and how they can actually be productive. Otherwise, guys, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Maybe you've got a couple of additional retrieve styles that you like to use. If that's the case, please share it in the comment section so that others can learn from you as well. And uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. We'll have a new tip video coming out for you tomorrow.